tell you is I'm going to be wore out mentally by the time I get all these right-of-ways mowed. I don't remember any, where any of the utilities are. Uh, some of the utilities, the grass is like a foot and a half above them. Like uh, I have found two pedestals and almost ran over both of them. I literally leaned it back a little bit in the dirt, which I just leaned it back up and made a middle note. Let's not go back there. Um, but uh, it's rough. Like nothing's marked with T-posts. Like it'd be nice if the transformers were marked with T-posts. AT&T's got a bunch of like, I don't know, the same boxes that I use for irrigation that they've got their splices in and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's not a lot of fun in here. I am going to be mentally wore out, I can tell you that right now, by the time that I am done with this. So what I think I'm going to do, and the city for some reason, is in here running around trimming something. They started to trim the utility boxes. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I don't. They generally don't don't do that. Maybe they're maybe they're trimming poles or something. They're trying to get get some of the other stuff trimmed out. I don't know, but. up already because when I lift it up off the ground it has a little bit of vibration and that's always when the blades get gummed up but heck they've got they had a decent amount of tolerance in them but like I told you guys last time it's uh, it's been such a wet year all this stuff is so wet um, it's just it keeps all the moisture in the in the vegetation and it, it makes it gummy I mean Without a better term, you like touch it and it's real sticky. I'm just going real slow. My plan is I'm just going to go around and mow 20, 30 feet back to where I feel like I'm behind all the utilities everywhere. And then once I get all the right of ways kind of trimmed out, because my thought was is I don't know what the city's doing, but maybe the city will go through and trim behind me, like whatever they're in here wanting to trim out and it'll just make it look that much better. But then too, I can kind of get all the nerve-wracking stuff done uh, all at once, and I don't have to uh, keep remembering, okay, this, this box is gonna be by this box and all that. I can just go through while it's fresh in my head and get it all mowed. I don't even know what on earth, oh. See, there's a manhole, a sewer right there. And that's supposed to be marked by a T-post. It is marked by a T-post, but somebody knocked it over. I think that's the T-post. So, at least we have that on video. That if the city comes back by and says, Hey, why'd you hit that? It's like, because somebody had it knocked over. They probably knocked it over when they were doing the sidewalk. Pushed it over the skid loader. Because there's the... Uh, there's the dirt from digging the sidewalk out. It's stuff like that. It just I forgot how much fun it was to uh, to mow in a housing development.
back. You're dusty. Uh, we're done. I don't know if you can tell how eroded that is, but this whole place is like that. This whole place sucks. I know I say every place sucks, but like that's usually all I get anymore is the stuff nobody wants to mow. Uh, there's a couple spots, you know, where there's a bunch of flagged out basements with little tiny, you know, like irrigation flags or whatever. Um, obviously, I don't want to run over those. Can't do much with like all the millions of utility boxes. We are going to come in and spray those Monday. I'm going to spray all the poles, all the utilities, all the everything. If there's a clump of grass, it's getting sprayed with, uh, I don't know, five ounces a gallon glyphosate and probably some sterilant. But, I mean, this place is just eroded. And the reason is, there is no seed. There's no nothing. They literally set elevation and grading here to the curbs, and they literally just let the weeds grow. Well, it's good for me because weeds grow really fast. If it had grass in here, it would take longer.